Hello friends, this is Frank from Germany and I'm a little bit excited and proud to present my second video sessions about uh, chili pepper and uh, PCB import. Um, some people's knows uh, I want to uh, my winter project, uh, I want to build a machine on a CNC machine. He generate a PCB with all components. You only put this uh, finished PCB in the oven and after that you get a complete PCB. No, okay. Now the, the, the first or the, the, the first video session was about how can I mill a PCB at home? And now um, the topic is how can I solder this pens on my PCB at home? Yes. And for the first time we need um, a solder dispenser, yeah, a kind of uh, pump or so. And I generate or I design a little solder dispenser. It's mechanical, not with air. He looks so. Oh, wait, I must make a little bit bigger. So he looks so. It's a, it's a normal uh, stepper, very small. And then uh, a little uh, bit metal uh, components, also some millet own components and so on. And this is the cannula and so on. The how you can build this, this um, will happen in the next video session. Now uh, I want to show you how you can use this um, uh, feature, this little mechanical thing, solar dispenser. Um, and uh, I make a little, uh, also I program a little widget or extend our Eagle import widget. And I want to show you this in this video session. You can say it's a theoretic uh, part and tomorrow comes the uh, second part. It's a practical part. How can I build the solar dispenser? Okay, let's go. Don't speak about it, do it. So here you have our chili pepper. You know, everything is good with the normal uh, chili pepper here. And I hope it's, yeah, it works very cool. Now we need a board. You Now my old board, I make little changes on this board, but I think it's, uh, it's good for you to, to see this new feature. Now you see this boards, the boards, stand for the solder drops or solder dispenser drops. You can uh, watch this from every side. It's uh, generated in 3D and so on. And you see also um, a feature that he analyzed bigger pads as a drops and uh, put more as one drops on this bigger pads. That's the point why this bigger pads, I replaced this normal pads with this bigger pads. Okay, now, you see here an EG PCB uh, widget, a new uh, tab uh, with the name Dispense. And uh, you can also switch off this feature or switch on. We switch off, refresh, and then you see no drops. Ah, the drops are gone. I hope it works. <laughs> refresh again, and now the drops come back. Um, you see also uh, the diameter from your solder dispenser. This means the diameter, the inside diameter from this cannula. Yeah, it can be, uh, maybe you can see this. Yeah, okay. Uh, it can be a one millimeter, 9.8 millimeter, very small, 9.5 also possible or 9.2, but you need a very high quality solar paste and it's a little bit expensive, but yeah, we see forward. I think uh, we are very successful to see uh, the first drops on our PCBs. <laughs> so you can see everything is nice. Here's a diameter. And the diameter is one millimeter from, from one drop, yes? The problem is uh, some drops are too big or some drops are too small for those pads. And this is the light traffic colors here. You see, um, first of all, green drops are good. This means they um, uh, have an area around 
70 to 100 percent uh, on this SMD pad, but the, the red ones are a little bit too big. Now you can change your uh, diameter from, 9, from 1 millimeter to 9.8 and we see what has happened. Refresh and he calculate a little bit and now you see the green drops, it's okay. Now they are yellow here, but this drop are too small. It's also possible and this is a good tool. Uh, you can uh, see what has happened. I think it's not really uh, uh, the real world with these drops. Uh, some drops are too big or too small. It's a kind of uh, what you have for a machine, the machine good or bad and so on. <clears throat> but for the first time you can see, okay, now you yeah, now it's okay. Uh, here the the optocoupler on this red drops, it's okay. You can uh, uh, um, make some solder later uh, again or so. It's uh, it's not so uh, rocket science or not so bad. So, but the cool thing is also um, now we have 9.8 millimeter. You can also more uh, use a trick with 9.5. <clears throat> it's very small and <clears throat> he calculated a little bit more and you see the bigger pads get now four drops and this get a lot of drops. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, also a future a feature will come uh, maybe next week or so is you can say okay I don't want to um, uh, that uh, drops are on this pad or this pad. Yes, I think a little bit maybe with a double click you see a menu or with a right mouse button you see a menu for this pad and then you can say no hidden for the soda dispenser uh, logic. Everything is possible and <clears throat> the second parameter is also easy. It's uh, steps for one drop. You must think a little bit in millimeters. Yes, that's a 9.5 millimeters. Will uh, the stamp press uh, on this? I don't know the right word for this uh, thing here. This we say in Germany Spritze. <laughs> and <clears throat> that's you can say 9.91 or 9.1. It's we we have to test this uh, on the in the real world. Uh, how much steps or millimeter and steps you need. Um, the second, the, the third parameter also is the access for dispenser. Now I have to, a little bit to explain. Um, we have only three access, maybe four access for every um, CNC machine. But the problem is mostly uh, you need a second Arduino my little person and John, we work hard uh, to uh, build a widget with the name Access Wrapper. And we need this second Arduino because uh, you don't have only one stepper for um, the solder dispenser. A second stepper will come uh, for the pick and place vacuum pump uh, to rotate the component in the right direction. <clears throat> And also uh, we need some pins to uh, switch on the sucker pump or uh, switch on maybe the LEDs. Um, I have a lot of ideas, yes. In, in finished or at the end, we have a header for the CNC machine with all components, with a sucker, with a, um, with a solar dispenser, also with a spindle. And we can uh, build a PCB in, you know, in one process. Ah, it's a dream we see forward. So, okay, you need logical um, uh, a second um, uh, access. <clears throat> and in, in, my, um, in my chili pepper, the access has a, a name with the letter D. And then um, you can see he sent a second Arduino uh, with the letter D. <clears throat> when we say refresh, then he, he generates also the G code. You can go to G code and uh, go to this text area, scroll to the end, and then you see here, oh, 
here you see also uh, it's it's a beta version yeah it's not uh, uh, productive um, we have to sometimes I have to uh, um, uh, check some bugs but it works mostly with with a diameter from one millimeter to 9.8 it works perfect and the rest we see forward um, <clears throat> you can see the check the 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 first g0 z1 this is a start from a drop uh, he go high then he go to the position go down to 9.33 millimeters uh, to the surface from the pcb then he go very slow to z, z Z0.1250 and then he sent to the uh, second Arduino uh, press a little bit solar pace go very uh, uh, slow uh, up and then go to the next position ah, very cool and um, yes I work on it check my second video uh, I want to build this tomorrow and uh, then uh, <clears throat> you can see how you can build the solar dispenser but the target is wonderful and I think uh, we make chili pepper to our uh, thanks for watching okay bye bye